Part of the reasons we choose to tell children of men in, in very fluid long takes was to take advantage of the element of real time. They've taken a very distinctive visual style with this movie and they're doing incredibly long takes that take an awful lot of orchestration. What it means is in the big action sequences we will rehearse for a very long time before shooting because an awful lot of elements have to come together and then Alfonso has been very brave and gone for it in a one take. Alfonso is committed to a very specific style making this movie. And what he's done is he's shooting it with what will be, in the end, a, a very limited amount of cuts. These scenes are all incredibly choreographed. What we should do first is do a mock-up of the camera move very quickly. Yep. So we start rehearsing and we yep. know where to go. We took this documentary approach as if you were just following characters with your DV camera in the year 2027. One of the action scenes in the film takes place in a car. And it was just a huge action scene. You have actors and stuntmen outside the car. You have our actors inside the car. And given that it's a car in an enclosed space, you can't fit a camera crew in a car. And, and you would have to shoot and then cut and then move the camera. And it was important to Alfonso that we had a full range of vision. I just knew that I wanted the shot to be like that, and I was willing to compromise and says, well, you know, if we have to go green screen, maybe it's the only way. And he was saying, this is not a green screen movie. Are you crazy? This movie has to look raw. It has to look real. You, need, you want the interaction of the light that goes through the windscreen and, the, and, and how the shades of the trees around you and the people running a, a, around. So Alfonso and Chivo, Emmanuel Lebesgue, the cinematographer, came up with this unbelievable piece of machinery that allowed them to cover this 12 minutes of film basically without a cut. We're trying to sort this out with the assistant director, the stunt coordinator, and the special effects coordinator to come up with a plan of how we could do this. It was one of those that all the odds were against. We put together a sophisticated little rig here that uh, incorporates the sparrow head from doggy cam and two power slides, which work together to move the camera in and out, forward, backwards, right and left. And basically, in this configuration, we can put the camera anywhere inside of this moving vehicle and be able to look around 360 out the window and never see any rigging or be bothered by any uh, obstructions. And then um, built on top of that is where we have our operation station. And um, there we have uh, the cameraman, the director, uh, focus puller, and myself. Between the four of us, we uh, work together to incorporate and, and make the shot work. And they can film a conversation between five people in the interior of, our, of a car and cover the entire thing without without a cut. All the stuff that we did in the car um, took quite a while. It was really sort of exciting to shoot because the camera moves around the vehicle and you never really know where the camera is because of the way it's placed in the middle of the car. It's all sort of happening around and it's all contained within this moment and these reactions, which means that you know, our movements have to be very fluid in terms of what the camera is doing and so the chairs are all on hinges so we can get out of the way, come back up when we need to be up and get to the side, get out of the car, get out of the back, you know. Are they coming back? Faster, faster. What's happening? Are they coming back? I don't know. Just go faster. Huh? sort of exciting as an actor to get to take place in something that was as technical as that. This is uh, something that may never have really been done in this way before, and it's it's kind of feels like a little bit of a landmark type of shot that we're doing, so it's a lot of pride all around. I think he knew it would work, but he may have been the only one who knew it would work, and it's extraordinary. And having now seen the whole thing put together, it's, it's, it's really beautiful. No! Jesus Christ! <laughs> Julian! It's a cop. It's a cop.